Hi everyone and welcome to Authentic Worth Publishing's online seminar on how to build self-confidence and personal development. So without further ado, let's get started. The quote for today is from my book, The Power of a Forward Thinking Mindset. You are not looked down on because of your flaws. You are looked down on because of the way you perceive yourself. We all have flaws because we're born into an imperfect world. And sometimes we think too deep into ourselves that we think that the flaws is what causes us to stay low. But we need to be reminded that it's not the flaws that keep you low. It's your mindset of how you see yourself that keeps you low. What is confidence to you? Confidence for me is speaking out in a big crowd. Audiences don't have to necessarily be about a thousand people. It can be 10 people. It can be 50 people. It can be 30 yeah. people. I wouldn't focus too much on the number because you can have a big amount of people, but how you feel within is what matters. And it's about believing in yourself. What would you say confidence is to you from a personal perspective, from a work-based perspective, from a family perspective? I would say confidence is coming out of your own comfort zone to try new things. It could be something that is new to you. You've never done it before, but you just want to try it just to see what it can do for you. We know that coming out of our comfort zones is not comfortable because we want to be comfortable. Of but course. it's not always the case. And if we know we want to improve our lives, we need to learn how to come out of that and build that confidence because as we build confidence it does include coming out of comfortable environments being able to adapt to different changes around you self-confidence is the assurance of knowing the inner qualities that an individual has and believes in themselves how much do you believe in yourself self-confidence isn't about putting other people down to make yourself look good now i know it's easy to think that way because when you're not comfortable it makes you feel comfortable to put other people down. But that's not wise. We should never have that mentality, especially as we are going higher and gaining opportunities. Number two, it's not about flaunting your strengths to increase your ego as well. We all have strengths here, but we must learn how to manage them in a way that is in humility and in kindness. And as I continue, personal development is not just a way of solving problems in your life. It is a way of growing. Number one, being honest with where you are and having an open mind to learn going forwards. When you're happy with you, the right people will come to you. We are valuable individuals and it will take so much to pay a price for people to connect with you. What are your thoughts about social media presently? Do you feel social media has had a positive or negative effect on your own confidence? And do you agree or disagree that social media can improve on your personal development social media is only a platform because it's you and i we are using instagram we are using facebook but it's the intent and the motive of the person that can either make a social media positive or negative let's separate the two worlds sometimes look use the social media as a platform to for example for esther this is part of your job some people use it as a as a daily lifestyle i think it's also about who you're following as well I think sometimes if you're following people, maybe celebrities, loads of celebrities and stuff, you might be living a certain lifestyle and they seem to be living a light life and you're just there. But if you're following loads of like inspirational people, following pages like yourself, following pages that actually are giving you good nuggets and helping with your personal development, then I think it can also be a very good tool. You have to put effort in, in order to see results. You're comparing yourself to someone who is also as broken as you. And this is not to say that, you know, one is better than the other. No, we all have flaws, as I mentioned before. But we must realise that who you're comparing yourself to is also comparing themselves to someone. And what we have to do in order to avoid that, to complement each other, to let the person know that they're doing well and vice versa. Also, not having enough time for yourself. In other words, not enjoying your own company. I will always say this, remember private discipline is very important. You need time for you. This is what personal development is all about. And number three, not spending quality time with family, friends and loved ones. I really, really, really encourage you all, despite a pandemic, spend time with your friends, spend time with your family, spend time with your loved ones. Oh. Hey everyone. So Thank you for coming on today. What mm -hmm. led you to come out of your comfort zone to start mm. singing so i've been singing for so long since i was young 
um, since secondary school, university, I've always found myself involved in choirs and just performing. It all started from writing songs. So I used to love writing. Like, it was poetry, actually. It all started from poetry and then attaching a melody to it. It kind of developed over time. How do you maintain that consistency of building yourself organically without compromising yourself? I think it's a combination of still maintaining that self-belief in yourself, you know, com the growth in myself. And again, the personal development that we were talking about, I've seen a growth, not only in terms of my vocals, I've never had vocal training and the opportunities I got from even being on the show and being vocally trained was in itself, you know, a blessing. Um, but also just the people around me as well. Having encouraging friends, having encouraging family members is, is definitely a boost. And it makes you at least realise that you, you're, not, you're not only doing it for yourself, but for other people as well. I'm sure for you, singing is very therapeutic, isn't it? Oh yeah, for sure. It is. Yeah. yeah. I felt, yeah, I just feel that even if it wasn't, you know, beforehand, I always thought, you know, just a hobby, a side thing. But I think the more you put more effort into the passions and you just develop it it's just just spurs into something bigger and you just want to be able to share it with the world and you want to be able to kind of you know put more effort into it so and that goes you know without saying with all the other hobbies that you may have and talents that you may have it doesn't have to be singing I think just being able to the passion that you have behind it just makes you want to do more with it I just want to talk about quickly how to overcome a false sense of self-confidence and personal development and um, I always say this just to wrap up because at times, you know, as mentioned before, there's always that tendency to want people to know that we're doing well. But my encouragement to all of us is to not lie about our efforts or what we did to please others. If you have social media, let's connect. If you are, and let's connect, let's socialize. If you've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, please do connect with me. And I just want to say to each and every one of you, thank you so much for attending today. I've really gained a lot from today and I really hope that you all have too. And I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you once again for taking your time to invest, to learn and to build upon your own confidence and personal development because you do have it in you. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next online seminar. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Esther. Bye. Bye, ladies. Bye. 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 Thank you, Esther. Take care. We'll speak more. Bye. 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 Bye.